big data and security breach. Earlier this month, the White House released information to the masses about their big data review. According to Reuters, in their White House seeks privacy balance in a big data world, this 90-day review was led by John Podesta, a top advisor to President Barack Obama, which review consulted internet companies such as Google Inc. and Facebook Inc., data miners like Axion Corp., as well as academics and advertising agencies, legal experts, civil rights groups, and intelligence. Uh, he here's a glimpse of the report which can be found by Googling Big Data Report 2014. Uh, as you see stated, May 1st, 2014. We are living in the, the, dear Mr. President, we are living in the midst of a social, economic, and technological revolution. Here we communicate, socialize, spend leisure time, and conduct business has moved on to the internet. The internet has in turn moved into our phones, into devices spread it around our homes and cities, and into the factories that power the industrial econo economy. The resulting explosion of data and discovery is changing our world. Well, this was a nice segue into the security breach by eBay this past week. See, as you see here, they sign off. eBay is asking its customers to reset their passwords after a hack attack on its online retail site. The company said hackers now have possession of customer names, account passwords, email addresses, mailing addresses, phone numbers, and births, birth dates. Baypath cybersecurity professor Larry Snyder told 22 News there are some ways you can protect yourself before and after cyber attack to protect ourselves different passwords for different accounts don't use the same passwords and just being careful about the information that you share with with businesses you know if it's not needed for the transaction if it's not needed for the to open the account then don't provide it all right good advice ebay says there is no evidence that there has been any unauthorized activity and there is no sign any financial or credit card information has been stolen ebay is asking its customers this news comes just a few weeks after an encryption flaw called the heartbeat blub affected many popular websites and services such as Gmail and Facebook. The bug quietly exposed sensitive account information such as passwords and credit card numbers over the past two years and went widely undetected. Until recently, a 19-year-old Ontario man was charged and arrested after hacking into the country's tax agency using the heartbleed internet security bug. Well, I know data collecting is constantly growing at a fast rate. I just want to leave you guys with this right here. Are we really at a point where Facebook should be collecting our entire physical address? Well, this will conclude my screencast. Thanks.